Should be art, and I and I saw y'all should be on canvas and not on train doors. We know that you're an artist, you're rocking the hardest. But use your brains and become the smartest. Now graffiti is a show, and also museums. The people say it's fresh, and they're all agreeing. Pops, you're an artist, won't you tell them what it's like? Artists is all over, trying to write. I used to go out right and do a tag or two. I used to do it for y'all, I used to do it for you. Yo, my man, huh? Tell me why'd you stop? You was the gang running things. You was on the top One day a lady caught me And gave me advice She said you put it on canvas And it might look nice So everybody out there Prove to them all Graffiti is fresh Just keep it off the wall Well, I'm the king MC in the place you see. I guarantee the villa rock to the highest degree. I said my name is Hawk, and yes, I'm on the top. And when I just keep rock, I mean I rock non-stop. Now all your Jersey boys, I want you to know, VOS is gonna steal the show. Cause when we rock, we rock, and when we're live, we're live. And I'ma tell you one thing, yes, we do drive. Yes, yes, sure. You don't stop, you don't, you won't stop at that body rock. But we're fresh, don't you know it? VS show to show it. So just rock, y'all. Just Rock, graffiti calms my nerves. So the truth, I don't think if I wasn't doing graffiti, I think I'd have been probably a stick-up kid. The truth. Because the people that graffiti attracts, it seems like it attracts, it attracts nice people, but then again it attracts bugged out people, you know what I'm saying? Evil people. And you? Me? I'm both. Wait, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, this nigga calling the cops probably on this. They calling the cops. They calling the cops. Pop, they calling the cops. You want me to check it out? Hurry up, man. Let's get out of here. They're gonna call the cops. Yeah, man. They're calling the cops. Y'all don't fit in there, man. No. You're all good students, right? Yeah. And you're from the West Ward in Newark? Yeah. Right? We don't write on wars in the West Ward, right? No. No. Uh, that's bad, right? Yes. Yes. What do we do? We try to go to school. Hello. All right. And we try to go to church? Yes. Right? And we try to respect our parents? Yes. Right? And we try to respect other people's rights? Yes. Right? So we're going to be the generation that grow up and do everything correct. Is that right? Yes. All right. You know your councilman love you, right? I'm Councilman Ron L. Rice from the West Ward, City of Newark, one of nine council people. And I hate graffiti. It give a ghetto mentality. Uh, it brings ugliness to a community, and it helps to create negative attitudes about people in general. It goes back to the earliest days. The earliest kind of cultural expression we have are cave arts, which is drawing on caves, caves that you don't own, just caves that are there. I think there's a real uh, insistence of people to express themselves. And, and I think these kids are upsetting what they're trying to uh, do because of where they're doing it, but there's certainly a lot of talent. One way of thinking about graffiti, interesting, is it's the phoenix that's rising from the ashes. It's the brilliant colors that are arising out of the glum and gloomy ghettos that a lot of these people live in. Check it out, right? Y'all go around this way. We're going to bust through the, through the crack. You know what I'm saying? We're going to meet y'all down in the pit. All right? All right, go ahead. Hurry up. Yo, make sure nobody don't see y'all. Come on, Keo.
Yo, what are we gonna block here or here? Whenever we see a wall that's messed up, we'll add some color to it, make it look beautiful. We don't go around destroying beautiful walls. Yeah, start knocking this shit down, then. We call ourselves B.O.S. Vandals on the street. Are you a vandal? No, that's just the name of the crew. Yo, man, help pull all these weeds and shit out of here. Oh, come on, <laughs> Damn, man. What, what color you doing your outlines in? All right, right in there. Yo, what colors you get? What kind of cans you get? Yo, I got everything you need except uh, pastel pink, hot pink, and silver green. You know, all the, all the mother things. Damn, we should have went to Brooklyn. Yo, Revenge, did you get pastel green? I have a bugged out name. It's Micah. It's like Hakeem spelled backwards. And why I'm not in school is because I've chosen not to live at home. As far as my brothers and sisters, you know what I'm saying? I just felt like I was ready to be on my own because when I was living in East Orange, I used to come to Newark and stay for like three days. My mother used to be like, where the hell you been going off on me? You know what I'm saying? But I'd be like, you just be having so much fun, you don't be thinking about calling home. Yo, right, right. right here, right What up? Talk to Give me. Give me from right here all the way down to all, all over these. So you're going to go all over Shank? I'm going to forget him, man. He ain't nobody. Check it out. Let me go over him because I need my characters for here and you take all that for us to. All right, man. All my brothers is like, they bigger than me, you know what I'm saying? I'm the youngest one. Had a pound any? Nah. And yeah, my brothers, they was just, the family was raised on fighting, you know what I'm saying? My uncle was a boxer. They just enjoyed it, you know what I'm saying? But I never got a kick out of fighting. So I never really did it, you know what I'm saying? That's why I went in my separate ways. And art calls me down. B.O. style. A very on style. means vandals on the street, very, very outstanding. Or very up on style. Vandalistic obsessed sinners. It means a lot of things. Revenge, she's been with me since I first, you know, not since I first started, but me and him hooked up a long time ago. He just started writing, you know what I'm saying? But he's good. He caught on to the art fast. And this wall was all dirty and messed up from other vandals that was down here, so what we try to do is just try to make it look nice so people won't think so. You know, think graffiti's all that bad. Cuz, he, well, he got a style of his own. <laughs> yeah, you know? Nigga crazy. <laughs> I don't know about this guy sometimes. How about this color, man? Green. This is our boy Frankie, he from, from Bokeh. We got him to, you know, help look out for us. Some cops right here with sweaters. Taking a risk doing it at this time now, but then again, we need the light for the piece that we're gonna do because it's gonna be so big. We also have Brian here. <laughs> the world famous Brian. Don't excite me, please. <laughs> See your line. Look at that, man. You're coloring wrong. You're coloring. Look, look, look at it. Look at it, man. Look at it. I know what I'm doing, all right? It's a cold yellow. Look at you, all out the line, man. Now see, man, even you're making mistakes. Now why you bothering me, man? Why you bothering me? All right, man, go ahead. Dang. Yo, why y'all yelling, man? Snake a bugging, man. Look at it. Look at it. Now I just covered it up. What's up? No glass up. Man, you're up on top of this orange you did? Put some green. Nothing. Can I do some touch-ups, please? Yeah, I got it. See, you less like minor things, you know what I'm saying? But why you was bothering me, man? You ain't even let me finish it, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, now, only, All right, dag, man. You don't need yeah, me. man. OK. Now you can stop crying, because it's done. Right. Yeah. This nigga rock a tub. Oh, my god. The wall is falling apart on me. <laughs> oh, shit. My homeboy, Blake, he from Brooklyn. He's fresh, so we just put him down the crew, you know what I'm saying? Plus, he got a lot of experience as far as the lines. He used to rock lines. Well, I'm the cool Caucasian of the rap and persuasion. Oh, I got a funky rhyme for any occasion. This is my mode of communication. Yeah. Dependent on crowd participation. Really don't need no invitation. It's just a token for transportation. Well, my name. Some get high for stimulation. Well, and the best graffiti writers in the whole damn nation. A crew is a 
a bunch of artists who are united for the purpose of of style and also safety because you know sometimes you go to the yard you know there are other crews who want to steal your paint from you so you got to go down with a crew a bunch of your fellas you know I'm about to have them and they're all out here yeah I'm looking for jungle green man that's what I'm gonna miss you know I'm, I'm used to racking up paint about the top of the wall like we go from where one shot at least 30 cans we're shot, we're you know? there's two methods there's body racking and there's there's bag racking you can bring a bag with you and uh take the can and sometimes you have to buy one to make it look legit because yeah. you know they'll sweat you if you go in the store hang out an hour and don't buy anything but it's all in all on my body I can come out with about 30 cans helps to be skinny yeah and have a big coat <laughs> if you're under 18 you're not even supposed to be able to buy it right the only store that really respects that that I know would be Pearl, Pearl Paint because they can afford to do that a smaller art store will sell it to my little sister, you know. Here in Newark, are they selling it to kids? Sure, where do you think we got ours from? Get that nigga fat split. Let it good. Let it good, boy. That's it, that's it. Yo, I hope you got some more tasks on me because don't be green. Now my brain really gonna start clicking. I mean, I know you see it on the commercials, like, don't take it. Uh. But even people, some people say that marijuana is all right, you know what I'm saying? It don't kill you. I mean, I know people that use marijuana since they was young to old, and they still going about life as if it was usual, you know what I'm saying? So, but far as cocaine, all that type stuff. Because, see, once you use cocaine, again, your brain, and you start, you know, shooting it in your veins. It ain't no thing. <laughs> I'm bugging. That's not true, is it? What? Me using cocaine? No, I'm serious. I don't use cocaine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Part of people out there, I'ma let you all know. Word. My name is MC Fletcher, born yeah. a dog. The show is yeah. like this, y'all. Like this, y'all. The MC that you will not miss, y'all. Well, I'm off dog, the mic, yeah. and dog it good. Word. Rock shot, go rock your neighborhood. Rock it out, baby doll. My name is not Robin Hood. Can't uh -huh. rock the mic, no, I ain't no hook. I don't steal cars or steal no clothes. Word. I guarantee the rock, yes, heaven knows that I'll be the best. Yeah. I rock so fresh. I guarantee the rock and MC Fudge don't fest It's like this, y'all It's like this, y'all It's like this, the dis Like this, y'all Well, everybody knows me as MC Fudge Don't have no problems, don't hold no grudge And when it comes to rocking, the dog is on mic I guarantee the rock on mic and make the fuck with more to fight Everybody in the place, you know when it's Fudge I guarantee the rock and chuck a ball of nuts I guarantee the rock and never dig on the show I guarantee the rock on mighty, yes, it's there we go So Hoxie, my mellow, my man Get on the mic and rock the best you can. I'll explode if I don't paint. I'll explode, I will. I go out and kill somebody. In the hours that we paint on walls, if we ran around and terrorized the city with guns and knives, then we would be doing something considered less constructive. But if we're going to spend our time and do something which we enjoy, you know, and not really going to go out there and harm someone's, I don't see what's, you know, the big deal about, you know, But what would you rather see, a dirty, rusty, gray IRT train pulling by you all day long? Or beautiful, fresh colors, you know, Every day something you know interesting up there? Yeah, or the well, same you know, thing you know. with a crumbled down concrete wall, you know, who the hell They blame when they gonna rebuild this, until they rebuild it, to be something there to look forward to. Whether you, you like it or not, you've seen it, it's had an impact, it's changed your day. This is the one we rocked last night. We should feel encouraged that this positive force still exists within these run-down communities, uh, that there is some element that these kids want to make art and have a positive creative spirit. That's one of the hopeful signs of these communities that surround uh, you know, the New York City area. Sure, a lot of it's ugly and it's, it is a pain, you know, especially for store owners and people that are trying to run a business and keep their property neat and clean. It's, it's aggravating. But then there's the good graffiti that's beautiful and can be used to beautify a city. And it's just a matter of finding, channeling that energy. I wish I could have put more of those arrows yeah, out arrow. there, man. That arrow could have went in more. That's what I'm saying. It, it almost, it stuck out just 
It's like unbalanced. You see how the BOS is, then it look like it grows, but then again, it's just the center of the block right here. That makes it act like that. If you would have brought it down, everything would have been even. Some of the graffiti work that is done has turned out to be artwork, but just writing your name on a wall or John Loves Mary is, um, I think, more a statement of self than a statement of art. My name is Joyce Goldman. I'm director of the Division of Buildings and Grounds for the um, County of Essex. And um, as we stand here in front of the graffiti marked Hall of Records, uh, we can see what an impact the graffiti does have on the face and the feeling of public property. Tagging is for success. You walking down the street, you know how I'm feeling walking down the street. You be every, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you live in Valesburg. But you end up in Elizabeth and you see like kids and they be like, oh, that's that boy, Hakeem, this and that, you know what I'm saying? You be like, you be feeling good, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you see your name everywhere, you know what I'm saying? That's the whole thing of, that's about, getting, it's called getting up. If the world was full of graffiti artists, I mean, could you imagine what this place would look like if everybody thought like how we think? <laughs> Everything, we paint, we have murals you on know. cars and shit. I mean, you know, so Burger King. people be even walking around with a little tag on them. Yeah, this guy wrote on me when I was going home yesterday. <laughs> I fell asleep on the train and they painted my entire body. Is Too Sweet Hakeem a name that's familiar to you from this building? Uh, well, we've seen it. <laughs> and as you can see by the faint outlines, it's very difficult to get it out. It's a never ending problem. You clean the wall and you make a new slate, a clean slate for them, and then the kids come back and. I guess need a way to express themselves. Graffiti should be art, and I and I saw your art should be your canvas and not on train doors. We know you're an artist, you're rocking the hardest, but use your brain to become the smartest. Now graffiti is a show and also museum. Some people say expressions, they are all agreeing. Block your and artists, yeah. tell them what it's like. Niggas all over trying to bite. I used to go out fight and do a tag or two. I used to do it for y'all, I used to do it for you. As they on my man hot, tell me why'd you stop? You can't run and think you was on the top. One day a lady called. And gave me advice, she said, put it on canvas and it might look nice. So everybody out there, prove to them all. Graffiti is fresh, just keep it off the wall. Yeah, he was blocking that shit. So this, this is the wall we get, right? That's it. I mean, this is just like a rough sketch and shit, but they think I'll be together. Yeah, shut John. 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 He wanted to see it more than I wanted to see it. I want to see it from the start. Jersey just now really, really recognizing graffiti the way, it, you know, New York done had it, done made wild style, done made this, that, you know what I'm saying? We bust the flicks. Jersey, where was Will in Jersey, you know what I'm saying? Jersey wasn't doing that. So we started to like try to get noticed, you know what I'm saying? By doing the, the art gallery, you know, City Without Walls, we did their shows, just trying to get noticed, you know what I'm saying? Doing things to get noticed. New Jersey, in style, it takes takes after New York. New York is really, it's like Athens and everybody else is Syracuse and Sparta coming along. They look to New York for their style. I like the New Jersey writers. These guys here are terrific. Hakeem and Prince. New Jersey is coming, it's really got some beautiful stuff. And it's qualitatively different from that in New York, I guess because they don't do it on the trains. And so you see the, the scenery in the background in New Jersey. You've got cityscapes more. You've got a whole different thing. Give me time. Give me time. Give me time. Just for this, I'm pulling out the upside down backwards Arab wild style. So how do you like it, Mom? You get it, a hassle from the cops? We only got caught like a couple of times, but we try not to get caught because I'm at that age and they just lock you up. In the early 70s, these kids would have been in gangs. They'd be battling themselves with clubs and knives and getting into rumbles. But now they battle with art and break dancing and uh, DJing and rapping. That's such a much more constructive way to fight each other. Somebody said, let me know.
because these are the letters. This is our true BOS. And it's just characters. No, those are letters, even though they look like abstract, it's letters. This one here is the BOS. You right. two, the two of you. Yeah. What's the BOS? Vandals on the street. On what? Vandals on the street. To tell you the truth, the gallery, I don't, that, that went bogged out. You know what I'm saying? It was like they was boosting us up. And it got you got your head real fat, you know what I'm saying? You'd be like, yeah, what up? Next thing you know, you just drop. One next time we're gonna have another graffiti show in in, in, in the, what's the name of that gallery? City Without Walls. And it ain't gonna be one. It was just that for that day. You know, within that month. Never again. <laughs> Why won't you do it and get paid for it? We get paid. Don't you know, I'm an airbrush artist. I've been airbrushing for almost two years. I'm doing shirts now, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not wasting my time. I'm doing it because I right. enjoy it. Where are shirts at? Right here on Halsey On oh, Halsey That's where I see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My mother used to have doubts. She used to be like, you know, what the hell are you going to do with some graffiti? Why don't you get a job? Okay. I tried getting a job. I went when got a job at um, CBS Toys. It only lasted for one week and I got fired. I don't want to work in a factory. What other jobs can you get if you ain't got no, you know, no education? They're gonna stick you in a factory. I wasn't about that. I told people in plenty of time, they said, I don't think graffiti gonna get me nowhere, you know what I'm saying? But it's doing something and it's making my boss rich. When did you first get the idea of taking that, that whole graffiti look and putting it on a sweatshirt or a t-shirt? Really, I didn't get the idea. The kids, they came themselves and they said they can do that like that way. And it'd be, not a bad idea. So I said, why not to get a try? Let's yeah. try it, and we started trying it. And how has it turned out? It turned out very good. Making <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's the main point. He's getting rich off me, so why can't I be rich myself? Customers, they say, I ain't getting my shirt done unless I can't do it, you know what I'm saying? That make me feel good, but yet, that make him wonder, then how long can I keep Hakeem? He made me a shirt before. I love it. Yeah. It says, Victoria Randy, straight across my chest. He's the greatest shirt maker I ever saw. He's the Yo, best hi. shirt maker downtown. Well, I'm the G-I-G, -G, the O-L-O. -O. I said all the girls know me as the mighty gigolo. Cause I am fresh as hell and I do keep dollars. When I come down the street, they all start to holler. They say, yo, hi, yo, the Melamore Ace. Yo, the coolest MC that's in this place. I said, yo, yo, girl, don't do it like like that, cause I tell you one thing, cause my head gets fat. Yeah. See, I want a family, but I ain't ready for one yet, due to the fact that I'm only 18. And I don't know what I want exactly. I don't know who I want to be with. That's my problem, you know what I'm saying? What does Hawk and Sun mean? Hawk and Sun. That was my old tag. That's when I was going with this girl named Sunshine. She want me to settle down and, you know what I'm saying, be a part of their family. But I'm not ready for that now. But there's a baby. Yeah, I'm looking forward to being a father, you know what I'm saying? I have another son writer, of course. I mean, I'm ready to take that when it happens, you know. Just so it was a mistake, truth. But you got to deal with it while it's here, you know what I'm saying? Can't change the future or the, change the past. So I'm just ready to deal with it when it comes. Like this? I can't mean it. Like what you want, your bottle? To me, I think I'm a I'm pretty good father, truthfully, because see how he looks, you know, he's in good condition and Nilsa's not working and her mother's, you know, her mother helps out and her family helps out, but her mother has her own family to support. So it's mainly just boils down to me. I ain't too happy with welfare. I like, you know, more doing things on my own, you know, I don't like to need help from nobody, really. She ain't really applied for it yet. You know, I'm trying to talk her into it, but she's got her self-confidence, too. My name is Nilsa Barrios. My nickname is Sunshine. And I am the mother of Hakeem's son. It's not that bad, as they say. It's not hard raising a kid. At least not yet. You'll make him freak out. <laughs> One. Two. <laughs> okay, he holding on tight. Watch. Hold on, man. I'm 18. I got to my sophomore year. I probably could have made that too, but found out I was pregnant and I just quit. We've been going together for about four years now. See, I was an artist too when he met me. Then he was like, yeah, I'm me and my girl, you are going to New York, spray painting and all this and that, and we're going to make a piece together. And 
after that, his friends came along and he forgot to teach me anymore. And, I mean, he stopped everything. But right now, we just, we got in our minds not to try to really, you know, have a relationship. We just want to try to work it out as far as the baby. Now it's like I'm stuck in the house with a kid and can't go nowhere, can't do nothing, no babysitter, at least for a day. But all of that will change, because as soon as I get my own apartment, I'll be straight. We don't have no problems as far as money-wise. Whenever she needs money, you know, because I, I save a lot, and whenever she needs it, she just call me and let me know. He's like, yeah, well, I left some money down Sims, go and get it. When I go down there, it's about $10, which $10 is spent on Pampers only. You want him a soda, man? He needs to get a job, and if, if he has to work in a factory for now, he should do it. He says, graffiti will last, graffiti will last. Hey, it might can last, but... Not the way you're doing it. These kids live in a tough environment. What kind of future do they have? I mean, where's Hakeem gonna go when he's 25? I mean, is he gonna be a painter? What kind of jobs is this society gonna offer to someone with his intelligence? Um, because he's obviously not intelligence in the way that the dominant culture wants. You gonna be an artist? Definitely. I ain't gonna be no, no, no stock boy, none of that. You know, that shit is out. You gonna be famous? I'm gonna try my best to be. I ain't gonna lie, cause I'm taking all different type of routes. If it ain't graffiti, it's gonna be them canvases, you know? And if it boil down to them two not being it, I might do something crazy. <laughs> do some crazy shit, you know? I'm gonna get noticed though, definitely. As an artist? As an artist. I said my name is Hawk, and yes, I'm on the top. And when I just keep rock, I mean I rock non-stop. Now all your Jersey boys, I want you to know VOS is gonna steal the show. Cause when we rock, we rock, and when we're live, we're live. And I'ma tell you one thing, yes, we do drive. Yes, yes, sure. You don't stop, you don't, you won't stop at that body rock. But we're fresh, don't you know it? The BS show can show it. So just rock y'all, 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 just rock rock y'all, just rock y'all. I guarantee you, somebody will notice me. <laughs> Graffiti should be art, and I, and I saw. Your art should be on canvas and not on train doors. We know that you're an artist. You're rocking the hardest. But well, use your brains and become the smartest. Now graffiti is a show, and also museum. The people say it's fresh, and they're all agreeing. Pops, you're an artist. Won't you tell them what it's like? Artists is all over, trying to write. I used to go out right and do a tag or two. I used to do it for y'all. I used to do it for you. Yo, my man, hot. Tell me why'd you stop? You was the king running things. You was on the top. One day, a lady he caught me and gave me advice. She said you put it on canvas and it might look nice. So everybody out there, prove to them all. Graffiti is fresh, just keep it off the wall. The truth. <laughs>